Okay, we have an HP Z book here. Customer brought it in, it has a BIOS password. They contacted HP, which normally they would give you an SMC bin file, you load it on a USB, and you can remove the password. But they no longer offer this, saying it's for security, and they tell you to go buy a new one or replace the motherboard. That's not cost effective, so the alternative is what we're gonna do today. First off, we're gonna boot it up, get into the BIOS here, which would be F10. And you'll see there's three users set up. We just try to get in the admin and there's a password. So you're not able to get into it. You're not able to reload windows, uh, anything like that. So shut it down, close it up, remove the power. Then we're gonna flip it over, pop off the cover. We're also gonna wanna remove the battery here. Simply pops out like that. And the next step, we're gonna have to find the BIOS chip, which is right here. And now we're gonna go through removing the chip, reprogramming it, and reinstalling it. All right, so the next step here, we gotta remove the BIOS chip. So I usually take my flux, put a little bit uh, on each of the legs. This keeps it from oxidizing while you're soldering. Once it's on there, you go and grab up your iron. And I like to just touch each of the legs with the iron before I use the heat gun. That just uh, liquefies the solder, makes it a little bit easier just to remove, so you don't have to have the heat on it so long. There we go. Now we fire up the heat gun here. Typically set it to about 380. And now you just apply heat to it evenly. Smoke is just the flux burning off. Just gently touch. Gently touch the chip, see if it's ready. And you'll, you'll start to see the solder turn kind of silvery, and that means it's hot enough, and you should be able to just lift it off. Now that we've lifted our chip off, I go and take a little bit of uh, desoldering braid. Just clean up the legs a little bit, because there's excess solder that was helped to remove it. Chips all clean here. Sound that very well. Get a better shot of that. There you go, there's our chip. Now we take it, stick it into our programmer here. So just press down, make sure the dot is at the top, top corner. Now this is spring loaded, you just let it go and the legs touch onto the contacts there. And now we're ready for reading the chip. Plug it into our programmer here. Now I'll go ahead and bring you over here so you can see it's in the programmer. Shut it off. Now we pull up here to our software. We select the device we're using. This is the chip. And we go ahead and we read it. Reading the chip. This usually just takes a couple seconds. And once we do this, we're gonna want to read it two or more times, minimum two. And then what you do is you compare the images and make sure that the two files that you read are the exact same. So finish reading. Now we go ahead and save that file. I usually like to name the folder by the serial number just so I don't mix them up. Save it. Now it's the same thing. Read a second time. Again, reading the chip. Now we're going to save that as dump number two. Save. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the folder here. We have it on our desktop. I'm just going to copy over a file that I had created earlier. Paste it in. So now we want to make sure the two files are the same. So we run our little script that I made that'll compare them. And you'll see over here it says no differences. That means the files are the same. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how we remove the password from the BIOS dump that we just made. So we open up our file here. This is the one I just dumped. Let's open up one of them. Now from here, you're going to go edit and you're going to find. 
Now we're going to look for the string called bios user 00. Search for it, and it's found here. So now we can see bios administrator, and all this up to the letter U is the actual password that's currently set on the bios. So all we have to do is go here and set all of this to zero. This will clear out the password. Everything just before the dot before the U. There we go. Now it's blank. Now we're just going to go ahead and save this. We're just going to call it dump one. And we're going to say clear. And we're going to save it. Now we're going to go back to our programmer and we're going to flash that file. I already did this uh, earlier, but uh, you choose file. And then you're going to erase the chip. Make sure it's blank after you erase it. Then you're going to program this new file we created. After that, you're going to verify that it wrote properly. And then we're going to reinstall it in the laptop. I'm going to fix these solder points so it's ready to put the chip back on. There we go. All the points are cleaned up there. If you want to have a look, here we are. Points or contacts are all cleaned up. All right, so we flashed our chip with the uh, BIOS that has the password removed. And now we're going to put the chip back in. So we already prepped the pads. We just line it up. And we hit each leg with the soldering iron. Should be good. Now we can go ahead and flip it over, hook up the power, and now we try to boot it up. Now we go into the BIOS. administrator and we're in. No more password. Now we can even go down and remove those other users that we don't need. Easy as that.